this is what it's all been leading up to. All of my plans this summer have centered around getting this project off the ground. This is something I've been looking forward to for many years, right from the beginning of DIY and woodworking. Building an oak timber frame was on my bucket list. So my parents have given me the opportunity to build a small frame for them, and that's also gonna be a bit of a, a trial for future projects of our own. Now this will be the site of the new workshop, but no concrete poured yet, so I've had a good tidy up, graded it off, and just put some fabric down for now. That'll give us a good area that I can sweep up each day. So this is what I built that van for, as well as camping. It was needed, it needed to be multi-purpose. So by removing the seats and the camping pods, we've got ourselves a four and a half meter long loading space and loads of payload to accommodate the timbers. So we headed down into Somerset to pick up the oak beams. This is around an hour from us, or slightly less, and I haven't been there before. I've ordered online, but this place is a real treasure trove of uh, both kind of joinery grade timber in every single species you can imagine but also it's got a decent sized tool shop and accessories and wood turning blanks and things like that. There will be time to revisit this place and they held shows a couple of times a year there as well. But for now, it's a case of getting the muscle power out and loading up the oak. My one worry is that it's gonna be pretty hard work working alone with these timbers uh, the bigger ones are around 60, 70 kilo, but I'm hoping with a good bit of pivoting and a bit of physics, we should be able to manage, or I should be able to manage, uh, working solo. So prepare to watch the building of probably the most over-engineered gazebo you've ever seen. Uh, we've gone with 150 mil square um, white oak, um, kind of European oak, which is gonna be the main structure, both the posts and the beams, uh, all mortise and tenon with kind of all the bracing and, uh, and pegged. And then I've gone for these, which are 175 by 75 say so five by three for the rafters. Now it's not even gonna have a reef on it to start with. It's gonna be kind of a pergola, pergola. Um, it's, it's for mum and dad's house. So um, it, it'll look chunky, but it's not gonna go anywhere. And I think it should tie in nicely with their stonework and their oak beams that they're putting into their garage renovation at the moment. But that's all to come. So. 